Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install content in 4 Dash Studio. This is a question that Dwayne had. Hi, Dwayne. Uh, this is about how do you get content into Dash Studio, and um, it kind of depends on where you bought the content from. There's either content that you buy from Dash directly, and that can be installed in well three different ways. And I'm going to show you a convenient and another convenient way, and then there's content from marketplaces such as Renderosity and Hivewire and all these kinds of places, they develop, they not develop, they distribute their content as a zip file. So that means you have to unzip the file and then kind of copy everything into the correct directory. And that's kind of a bit of a daunting task. But not to worry, you will, by the end of this video, you'll know what to do with content that you purchase from no matter where. So let's uh, jump right in and uh, have a look at the DAS website first. And this is where you can get a little tool that the DAS people make available for free and it's called the Install Manager. And you get to Install Manager if you just head over to das3d.com and then log in to your account. I'm already logged in here. Head over to my account or your account rather. And uh, on the bottom of the page here you can see Install Manager Download Now. And that's a little program with which you can manage your content very easily uh, with with DAS Studio. So I've already installed it, of course, and I've pinned it to my taskbar here. I'm using Windows 10, by the way, if you hadn't guessed. And if I open this up, it'll ask me for my account credentials and my, my uh, username and password. And as soon as I start, I'm presented with a huge list of files that are available to me. So there's a couple of tabs here at the top. One is ready to download. Well, one's in the middle here that's not that important, ready to install, and one is installed. So let's start at the beginning here, ready to download. These are the products that are that I've purchased, but that are currently not installed on this system. It'll also make me aware of product updates. This is kind of cool. Sometimes products change. In this case, my Ophelia 7, I guess, has uh, changed. Something has been updated. Could be geometry, could be shaders. You know, it's software at the end of the day. Everything gets updated from time to time. And on the bottom here, these are the products that I have access to. Now, it could be that you have a lot of products and you can just uh, search for them here in the search box. So if I search for uh, Victoria, for example, then I get everything that includes the, the string that I put in here at the top. So a product that I've purchased a while ago, I'm not quite sure what that's called anymore. Maybe, you know, Victoria Force, wet maps or muscle maps or whatnot will show up. Or Victoria 6 HD, something like that or Victoria 7 even. If it says Poser CF, that's a Poser version here, so if you're only using Dash Studio, then you should not download these files. You can if you want to, especially if you're using both Poser and Dash Studio on the same system, you could just download both these files, so uh, Victoria 6 um, HD and Victoria 6 HD Poser CF. You download both files, that's, that is possible. Um, but you don't have to if you're just using Dash Studio, just to Take one of those boxes and hit that green button here, start the queue. And uh, then Install Manager goes ahead and downloads the file and it also installs the file for you. So it'll then uh, head over here to ready to install. This is where that is hiding until it's installed, then it goes away again. And then it goes into the third tab, which is installed. So everything that includes Victoria is now showing here under my installed content. If you click that red button here, then that goes away and you will see the whole list of installed content on your system. And it's just as easy to get rid of some content as well. So if I wanted to get rid of this product here, i13 Dreams, I just tick it and hit Start Queue again, and then this product will be uninstalled. So that's, I think, the most convenient way to get content in and out of Dash Studio with Install Manager. But you don't have to use that. So if you're uncomfortable with that or if you just don't like Install Manager, then by all means you don't have to use it. Um, you can use Dash Studio if you're using anything later than Dash Studio 4.9. This was a big thing in Dash Studio 4.9. It uh, came with something called the Install tab. So if this is not showing here, you can head over to Window, Panes, and then you'll see Install here. And this is a little bit like Install Manager in that you see all the products that you have access to in this pane here. So 
everything that's grayed out means you have access to it but it's currently not installed on your system it's kind of goes hand in hand with the smart content tab as well if you switch over to that then I can head over to all my products here well, let's just concentrate on figures to whittle it down a little bit everything that's in color is something that I have installed if I scroll further down then I can see on the bottom of the installed content is the stuff that I have access to but that's currently not installed if I just double click on something like that then gradually this fills with color as Das Studio is downloading this product in the background and makes it available to me so there's my African elephant and that is now ready to be used in my scene. It's rather large, isn't it? Well, elephants are large, I guess. There we go. There is a third way of installing DAS Studio content from the DAS website. If you've bought it there, of course, if you head over there again, then uh, you can have a look at your product library. And that shows you a list of everything that you've purchased and you can either search for something here so under filter search for a product that you've bought or you just select it from the list here say Ophelia 7 it also comes with files that you can download from here so one is the templates file and one is the actual product file so the templates file this is more for content creators who want to have a look at what the uv mapping looks like and then create a new skin for ophelia uh, so this is not necessary to download if you just want to use this figure in your creations uh, you could download this file here currently it's a zip file das also distributed content installers those are little exa files those are little self-extracting archives that would put the content where it needs to be. But if you were to do this, then you'd end up with a zip file, uh, much like um, other content marketplaces will give you. We'll cover that next. And there is indeed a fourth way of installing content, and that also relies on Install Manager. That's this green button here. This basically opens or should open Install Manager and then download the product and install it for you. But this is also an Install Manager way, so it's not really a fourth way. It's just another way to download it. It comes in handy if you've purchased a bundle with several products and you just want to install all of what you've purchased. This is one green button that you click. You also get the same thing after you've checked out. So that's DAS content purchased from DAS 3D. Let's have a look at how content from, say, Renderosity works. Renderosity gives you a zip file and you have access to this like with many other marketplaces. I'm just focusing on Renderosity here because that's the largest second marketplace, I guess. And it's under your avatar here and you can see my account or your account rather. And that by default gives you a massive list of things that you've purchased. You can open an order like this and then you see what you've purchased with this order. Or you can just head over to item list and this will give you an alphabetical way of seeing what you've purchased over the years at Renderosity. And you can search for your items here and that will bring up the item in question. Or like you say on the purchases you can just head over and open a purchase and download what you need. So in my case, I'll show you an example here, the city dress for Genesis 3 females by Out of Touch. And again, we have two zip files here. We have one that contains the actual dress and we have another one which contains the template. So texture artists, they can download this and then have a look at the UV mapping and start creating content for this. But we're gonna just download this city dress and I will just save it. I'm not going to open it, I'm just going to save it. There we go, let me just open that folder here and show you the very complicated directory structure. It's not actually that complicated. So right now I'm in my downloads folder and I'll see my downloaded file here as a zip file. On Windows and on Mac as well, if you double click the file, you have access to the contents of the file. And then you can drag it around or whatnot, whatever you want to do with it. Now these folders here, they are 
identical to what you have in your runtime library or in your content folder. A runtime library is more like a poser expression. So poser refers to content directories as runtime folders. And DAS Studio doesn't really do that anymore. So with DAS, the content can be saved more or less anywhere. Data usually contains geometry and then um, people Genesis 3 female clothing. This is the directory structure that follows what we see in the content library. So in order to bring this content in here, you need to know one vital piece of information and that is where your DAS Studio library is located. You can have several installed, but I'm focusing on the default one. And uh, there's a couple of ways to figure out where that is. So in DAS Studio, you can head over to edit preferences and then you see the content tab here and on the bottom you see the content directory manager and if you click that you see this dialog and underneath the current directories you have the das connect data we don't really we're not really interested in that and then we have the second one which is das studio formats and it looks like i have three content folders here and I also have the poser formats folder, and this is for poser content that DAS Studio can open. I'm not interested in that either, so I'm going to close that and focus just on this one here, the DAS Studio formats. Now the default library is this one here. On Windows is under Users, Public, Documents, My DAS 3D Library. There is another way to get to this, so if I just cancel out of this. If you're in the Content Library tab here, you can just right click on it and then choose Content Directory Manager. And that is more or less exactly the same. So it goes you straight to this window here. The path is of course still the same. So let me just minimize that and see if I can find it here. So it's in my local hard drive under Users, Public, Public Documents, My DAS 3D Library. And this is a folder when it comes to content installation that is uh, so important that I would recommend that you should dock this under your quick access here somewhere. I've got it here, my DAS 3D library. So you just drag this folder over into this list here on Windows. Now, in order to bring our downloaded content into this, all we have to do is find our content, which was in the downloads folder, and we can just right click on this and hit extract all. And now you can choose a path to which this will be extracted. Uh, not so much into this. You can browse there directly um, and you can either go to C, uh, users, public documents and so forth. Or you can just use your newly created shortcuts here, which is, which is the My DAS 3D library. So just make sure you select that folder and hit extract and that'll do the trick. If there's something in there, we'll just replace this. I guess I have that product installed already. There we go. There is another way, of course, to do this. You can double click an archive and then you see the, um, the entire content structure here. You can just mark all these things and either drag them into that other folder into the DAS Studio library so you can just drag this over and drop it and then all this will be copied into that location. Now for the Mac this is slightly different if the principle is the same but if you do exactly this action on a Mac then the content of this folder will be replaced with this it will not be merged so Windows is clever enough to merge this for you but on a Mac you're gonna to have to hold down the alt or option key and then content will be merged otherwise it will be replaced so warning for Mac users there now once we've done that we can head over back to DAS Studio into a content library and uh, to make DAS Studio realize that there's new content in here, we'll just right click here and say refresh and that should update the folder structure. Let's just move our elephant over to this way a little bit and uh, this folder structure is now more or less the same as it is in your Windows Explorer or in your Mac Finder. So start in DAS Studio formats my DAS 3D library. These are the other two libraries that I had installed. 
and our content was the clothing item for Genesis 3. So this is important to remember. Usually the readme file of zip content will also tell you where to find the content. In my case, it'll be under people. Genesis 3 female. Clothing. And I guess this is it. OOT city dress. And if I click on that, then I have the geometry file here and I have the material files over here uh, split over into 3D Lite and iRay. So in order to load a file here from the content library, you just either drag it over or you just double click it. With the figure that is selected, that studio will try and auto fit it. I guess that doesn't work with the elephant, so let's try that without the elephant. There we go. That's the city dress. Currently uh, looks just white. But if you want a texture on this, you head over to the matte folder and then let's choose an iRate design, maybe this one here. And there we go. Now notice that content installed from zip archives does not show up in the smart content tab. So if we were to search all our products for the city dress, I will find that there's no such dress installed. So this is only available if you install DAS content from the install manager or from the DAS Connect, which is the system that they've built into DAS Studio. DAS Connect, uh, the thing that I've showed you earlier, built into DAS Studio, that has one other advantage, and I really, really like that. I render a lot of stuff on different computers, so I set up a scene on one computer, and then I head over and render it on another computer. And if you do that, then it is likely that some of the content that you've used in your scene is not available on that second machine that you're using. And with DAS Studio 4.9 and above, it's really easy to resolve those content conflicts. So what happens is you open a scene where, say, a figure or an item of clothing or a piece of scenery is missing. And if it's DAS content, DAS Studio will let you know, hey, this content is missing. What would you like to do? Well, install it all. So then it downloads everything from the DAS website, installs it into the copy uh, that is you know, missing. And um, Bob's your uncle, Betty is your aunt. You can go ahead and render that scene. In fact, let's just demonstrate this. So here we have a scene with my elephant and I will just save this. Perhaps I'll create a camera as well so that the framing is correct next time we open the scene. So here's my elephant framed up properly. I will save him on the desktop and I'll call it elephant. And now I'll go ahead and perhaps remove the elephant from the content library. So let's start a new scene, clear it out. African elephant is here. I can right click on this and say uninstall and then DAS Studio will remove this and the elephant is grayed out. Now if I were to open that scene again, I could close DAS Studio and open it again. I'll just open the elephant, I get this dialog box that says, hey, the elephant is missing from your content library. What would you like to do? Install selected. So you could have several products here that show up. You say install selected and then DAS Studio will go ahead and download the content and display the elephant properly rather than a set of bounding boxes. That was it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with friends, family and total strangers. Also, subscribe to my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Bye for now. I will see you next time.